I have no financial disclosure regarding my video. A male child, 8 years old, history of penetrating trauma to the right eye by gunshot, was repaired since 2 months. The pattern of his iris tissue has changed since the trauma, as his relatives said to me. Vision was barely hand motion with good macular function and his projection was fair. Intraocular pressure was 17 mm mercury and the cornea was in a good state with shallow AC and no pupil could be detected. Ultrasound was done saying that there is non-metallic foreign body in the anterior segment amalgamated with the lens matter and the content of the iris tissue and the retina was in place by ultrasound. I started the operation by two paracentesis 1.2 mm then I injected a double coat viscoelastic to protect the cornea. With a viscoelastic cannula, I started to discover what is the orange color I am seeing. I realized that it is a foreign body impacted from the limbus entangling the iris tissue. So I decided to open a 2.4 mm incision to help me dissecting the iris tissue from the foreign body. A lot of viscoelastic was used during the dissection to protect the cornea and to bluntly dissecting with the cannula. Then I entered a special anterior segment scissor trying to do a blunt dissection of the iris tissue from the foreign body and cutting more adhesions. More dissection was done with a Sansky hook with more care about the cornea. Finally, I succeeded to make the foreign body freely mobile in the anterior chamber. I enlarged the wound to deliver the foreign body with the forceps. It was a huge rock-shaped regular foreign body with an orange color. Now, I was surprised about what was behind the foreign body. I faced a friable iris tissue with a fibrosed lens, so I injected more viscoelastic trying to find a way to start and safely end my case. I closed the window with a 210O nylon suture to maintain the pressure inside the eye so I can handle the anterior chamber. By special anterior segment scissor, started to cut the fibrous lens and the rest of the adhesions. I used the oculotome trying to do an anterior vitrectomy and cutting the fibrous lens, but it was so hard to be cut with the oculotome. So, I shifted again for the scissor to cut the fibrosis as much as I can by using a bi-manual technique. My aim was to restore a good size, clear, 
pupillary area, postponing the IOL implantation after several months, giving time for the eye to be quiet. Finally, I succeeded to close the wound with a continuous 10O nylon suture, leaving the eye formed with a clear pupillary area. First day post-operative, the eye was quiet with mild lead edema, mild striate keratitis, formed anterior chamber with plus two flare, vision was 30 centimeters, couldn't see clearly the fundus, and the intraocular pressure was digitally full. After two months, the eye was quiet, with quiet anterior chamber, and the best corrected visual acuity is 0.2 with plus 10 sphere, with disc and macula was okay, and the retina was in place. This is the picture before, and this is now, this is beyond imagination. Thank you.